Hi folks, Swiss Bohemian here. I hope you are all doing well. Well, I got a ton of new manga and today first I show you my English manga I got recently. I show you just a little bit of Japanese manga and I'm also going to show you manga in German which I got just yesterday in a special yard sale. But without further ado, let's start with the manga I got in English. So first I got the first volume of I can't believe I just slept with you. I was surprised by how sweet it is. This is like a sweet Yuri romance and it has an interesting story. Uh, this is about a 24 year old office lady. She is out of work, she is about three months behind her rent and she is like wallowing in self-pity in her apartment. Then one day the landlady, a young 19 year old girl, knocks on her door and makes an unusual proposal. She says, uh, well, I can help you with your debt on your rent, just have sex with me. So yeah, this manga starts with a one night stand, which is rather unusual, but then it develops like in this, uh, this uh, sweet relationship between the two leads. So there is a growing relationship. It was really quite sweet. I loved it a lot. Yeah, I'm wondering how uh, it will continue. Now the actual Japanese title is Ichido Dake Demo Kokai Shitemasu, which translates into even if it was just once, I regret it. And you can interpret this title in uh, different meanings depending on how you see the relationship between the two women. Yeah, all in all this was quite a sweet manga and I'm looking forward for the remaining two volumes. Then I got the second volume of Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games and this is just a riot. This is a really fun action comedy of proper ladies playing uh, fighting games in a school for like proper ladies. Video games in general are forbidden. And this is just really fun. I like that one a lot. And the art is also very kinetic. I actually have from this author already a manga in Japanese. It's called Yuzumori-san. This one is also quite peculiar. One day I will present this manga to you. But yeah, I can really recommend to you young ladies don't play fighting games. Then I got the second volume of Frieren Beyond Journey's End. And this is an interesting fantasy series with an elf who doesn't get old. Well, she gets old, but really slowly. And in the meantime, all the acquaintances she knows and all the other heroes she was on a quest, they eventually die. And yeah, I like the second volume as well. I haven't read it completely yet, but I'm in the middle of it and I like it. And there's like a new character, like this guy here. He starts like a little bit like a kind of cowardly, like an idiot, but very quickly you realize that he's actually a, a real hero and he has some guts and yeah, it's interesting so far. So this illustration here for some reason really made me laugh a lot. Then I got The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 1 and Volume 2. This one I have heard a lot about it and there is I think an anime out or maybe not out yet, I think some Kickstarter project. And uh, this is a very special fantasy series, judging just by the art style alone. I haven't read it yet. Um, if you know this manga, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments and to reading this manga. Then I got the first volume of our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. And this one I just picked up on a whim. It looks like it is a slice of life story, a little bit the romance between two guys, I guess. And they are traveling the world uh, like a Lonely Planet style. Yeah, the first volume, they are traveling to Thailand, India, Georgia. Okay, it looks interesting and it is uh, a bit outside of the genre I usually buy. I don't buy usually like this kind of maybe a little bit uh, boys love-ish. It doesn't matter as long as it, the premise is interesting, I give like every manga a shot. Then I got the first volume of Two and a Half Dimensional Seduction. Now from this manga I expect like a very intellectual story, you know, like uh, really good backgrounds and uh, yeah, you know, I just bought that one for the sex appeal. Hey, don't judge me. Then I got the second volume of Creepy Cat. The story of a young woman who lives in this mansion with like a creepy cat. And it's in full color and I love the first volume and also have read now like half of the second volume. It's just a ton of fun. And uh, I dig the art style, this very uh, angular style, but also like somehow unmanga like I would say. I love this one. I, I really recommend it to you if you like uh, fun cartoons in general. 
so a uh, creepy cat second volume then i got like a yuri manga called monologue woven for you this also is in full color and i just picked it up because it looked interesting i haven't read it yet the art seems to be like like your typical fare of uh, yuri manga but it's in color a beautifully illustrated full color love story at the intersection of two women's conflicting passions so it sounds interesting then i got the first volume of a splendid work of a monster maid and this one i haven't read it yet but i like the art style again and i've seen it on a spanish website and i thought uh, i should give this one a shot these uh, drawings look like quite polished and interesting and yeah if you also know this manga please let me know down in the comments below what you think of it finally i got a new manga by rumiko takashi called came the mirror and other tales now this seems to be a compilation of uh, like individual short stories and it has been a quite long time since i've bought a manga by rumiko takashi in my collection i have like uh, the old classics like urusei atsura meson ikoku ranma one half but actually i haven't continued to buy other manga by her like inuyasha wasn't really my my style it was like too shonen-y too action-y and also the newer ones like mao I haven't bought it and also I, I don't quite like the style she's drawing nowadays compared to like in in the beginning of Ranma one half where her style was a bit more roundish but anyway um, I think one of her best manga are her short stories like Mermaid Forest, Mermaid Scar and like also the tragedy of P and yeah I'm looking forward to read the short stories in this one and also again if you know this manga you have bought it recently just let me know in the comments down below Low. so these were the english manga i got like in the past uh, three four weeks and now let's jump to the japanese manga but before i do that let me tell you that i went to basel in switzerland to a yard sale that's where i got some of the japanese manga and also the the english and german manga i'll show you the yard sale is quite special because it actually takes place not in a yard but it takes place like in a market hall it has like many tables by fans of manga and other things and that's why the yard sale is called nerd yard let me show you uh, for like a few minutes some clips of this nerd yard so that you get like a, a good idea how it is like and then let's jump into the japanese manga and the english manga So let me show you now what I found in the nerd yard. First I got some nice Yuri manga. TMNR Secret Crush on My Sister. And I got these three volumes for only like one dollar a piece. So this is quite a steal. And um, yeah, I haven't read it yet. And uh, this cover I have seen it somewhere. Again, this happens, you know, when you have so many mangas as I do. But anyway, yeah, some Yuri manga. I'm happy to have them and uh, one day I will read them. Do you remember my second to last video where I presented to you Phobia from Goto Yukiko? Well, guess what? I found at the Nerd Yard two manga by her it's a short series called Mizuiru 
here yeah so there are only two volumes i totally not expected to find a manga by her at like a local swiss uh, yard sale so yeah i'm quite happy that i got five more japanese manga and i got them at the swiss yard sale which is rather unusual let me show you now the manga i got in german at the yard sale in basel I got the first five volumes of Dead Dead Demons De 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 Destruction by Inyo Asano. I got them for super cheap, for like only two Swiss francs a piece, so two dollars a piece. And they are in a good condition. And I actually started to collect this manga already in uh, French and I got them in German because they were so cheap but also because I want to show you a bit the difference in another video about the German and French manga but also maybe with uh, a Japanese uh, volume. Then I got the first volume of My Hero Academia and I got this one not because I'm a fan of this manga or the anime but because I just want to be able to speak about it as well i mean it's so famous it's so well known and so beloved by like millions of manga fans and it's not in my collection i know like the basic premise i think i have read maybe some a few chapters i've seen a movie recently in switzerland i think uh, every manga collection should have like maybe at least one volume of like the very popular shonen series then i got the first three volumes of who is sakamoto uh, in Japanese it's called uh, Sakamoto Nandesuka and this is a very very funny um, was it a Jose? No, it was a shonen series about this cool dude called Sakamoto and nobody can beat him he's just the, the, the greatest guy ever uh, so funny and there was like a few years ago there was an anime so I got these three volumes for just 10 bucks. Then I got this one, a horror mystery manga called Tsumitsuki. I have no idea what it is about, but it was only two dollars, so I thought why not. One week friends, this one I already have in Japanese, the first volume. Then I got volume one and volume two of Valkinder. I think in English it's called The Children of the Whales. And this is a shoujo manga with very intricate art, very detailed art. I immediately love the covers. They just look great. Just look at the art. I mean, this looks amazing. Then I got the first volume of Zombie 100, Bucket List of the Dead. And this one got quite popular in recent months. I've read some scanlation chapters and I remember that it was quite fun. It's about a zombie apocalypse and some teenagers surviving and they, they want to make like their dreams come true by like uh, realizing things they have in their bucket list. I also got new manga in German and this is quite rare for me because I usually buy my manga in Japanese or in French. I got the first two volume of Astra Lost in Space, which was an anime and I like the anime and have read a little bit of the manga. This is a quite interesting uh, science fiction adventure story with some teenagers lost in space and they have to find their way back to Earth. Then I got the first two volumes of Boy's Abyss. Now this is a very depressing story about a teenager who wants to commit suicide actually. He meets in his local town a famous idol who actually also wants to commit suicide then there is like the husband of the idol who is like a writer who drags all people all women down he was in a relationship with and what is interesting also about this series is that it is uh, drawn and written by Ryo Minenami her last series was actually a rom-com called Hatsukoi Zombie, so First Love Zombie. And this story here is a complete departure from her last story. Then I got the one shot one room angel this one is excellent this is a drama about a 30 year young man who lives alone in an apartment he has like a, a job at the convenience store and he has a dark past he was involved in uh, in crimes and stuff and his younger brother was abducted into the yakuza and one day he gets into a fight with some hoodlums and he is gravely injured and at that moment, while he's almost dying, an angel appears. And then this angel has amnesia. The young man decides to take care of this angel, who is, um, is about like a teenager. And they get along well, actually really well. 
he starts to take care of the angel but the angel gives him back also a lot of self-esteem and so on and this was a, such a sweet story and also a dramatic story it has like this small gag here i love it this is kind of uh, like instagram twitter kind of like picture then i got the first volume of the killer inside uh, this is a recommendation by someone who works in a manga shop. Then I got a seinen romance series called Love and Fortune, the first three volumes. So this is an interesting story. It's the story about a 30 year old woman. She is in a relationship with a, a man her age, about four years now they're living together and the man is already thinking about marriage. The problem is uh, this woman, she somehow doesn't feel love anymore for this man. She is so used to him that she, yeah, she cannot really imagine like marrying him because the love is not here anymore. And one day at a local cinema where she works at, she meets a 15 year old boy and she falls in love with him. And the boy also falls in love with her. So they start a relationship. So it's an age gap romance. It's a drama story. It doesn't really have humor. It's interesting, but um, I really wish I could like strangle this woman. I mean, what is she thinking about? Volumes 1 and Volumes 2 of Jose, the Tiger und die Fische, based on the anime of the same name. So this is a drama story of a young student him here who gets to know this young woman she is bound to a wheelchair and lastly i got uh, three volumes of in this corner of the world now in this corner of the world i already have it in japanese here for me this is a masterpiece i think if you haven't read it and or if you haven't seen the movie yet you should really do it so that was it for today's manga haul i hope you liked it what do you think of this manga haul in general this time? Are there any series you are currently reading? Just let me know in the comments down below and see you next time. Goodbye!